So in our video discussing nitrogen fixation, we saw that nature has two amazing ways of converting atmospheric nitrogen, which is actually not in a usable format, to usable form, basically compounds of nitrogen and oxygen. The first way is through a special bacterium called rhizobium, which lives in the root nodules of certain type of plants called leguminous plants like soybean and peas. These bacteria take the nitrogen, which is not usable format nitrogen from the atmosphere, convert it into a form that plants can use. The second way is something which is truly interesting. Yes, lightning if you remember. When lightning strikes, it combines the nitrogen and oxygen in the air, forming nitrogen compounds. These compounds dissolve in the rainwater, reach the soil and become available for plants to absorb through their roots. Do you think this is the end of the story for nitrogen? Not at all. This isn't the end of story for nitrogen. What happens when herbivores eat these plants? What are herbivores? Herbivores are those class category of animals which feed on at plants. Well, the nitrogen get passed on to these animals, helping them grow strong and healthy. It also plays very important role in the life processes of these animals. And what, what happens when these animals die? That's where another set of bacteria comes in called the decomposers. These microorganisms break down the dead animals and waste, releasing the nitrogen compounds back into the soil. And here is something more interesting. Some bacteria even go one step further. They convert the nitrogen compounds in the soil back into atmospheric nitrogen, returning into the air where the whole cycle starts again. Do you see the cycle here? The nitrogen that was originally in the atmosphere makes its way through plants, animals and back to the air in a never ending recycling process. And this whole process, the journey of nitrogen from atmosphere to the plants to the animals and back to the atmosphere is what we call nitrogen cycle. Let's see the nitrogen cycle in little more detail in the sense in a more coherent way. All right. Let's talk about the journey of nitrogen, how it moves from air to plants to animals and back to air again. So we have got tons of nitrogen in the atmosphere, but as we already know, plants can't use it directly, right? That's where our little nitrogen fixing superheroes come in. The bacteria called rhizobium and these bacteria live in the root nodules of leguminous plants and fix nitrogen into nitrogenous compounds. These nitrogenous compounds are now available in the soil for the plants to absorb to their roots. But hold on, remember bacteria aren't the only ones fixing nitrogen. There is another way and it's pretty wild. Yes, you guessed that right, lightning. When lightning strikes, it helps nitrogen combine with oxygen forming nitrogenous compound. And guess what? Rainwater carries these compounds down to the soil making the nitrogen available for the plants again. Now what do you think happens next? Plants absorb this nitrogen through the roots, we call it uptake and the nit now the nitrogen is inside the plants helping them grow and thrive. But nitrogen doesn't stop there, its story is not ending inside the plants. That's where herbivores come along and munch on these plants. Just like that the nitrogen is now moved into the animals. This nitrogen is now used by these animals for various life processes in their bodies, helping them grow strong and healthy. Right? And here is where the cycle comes to full circle. When animals eventually die, the decomposer bacteria breaks down the nitrogen in the waste and dead matter, sending it back to the soil. Do you see the circle here? Back to the soil. And here is the coolest part. It didn't start from the soil, right? The nitrogen started from the atmosphere. So some of the special bacteria in the soil takes the nitrogen, turns it back into nitrogen gas, releasing it back into the atmosphere. Just like that, nitrogen cycle is complete.